Hey, 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 everybody. Thanks for joining me on my channel today with Amy's Creative Acrylics. I'm Amy. Hello, hello. Today I'm going to do a pour. This is on a 20 by 20 inch canvas. Um, I'm just going to use some pretty pinks and purples, do some smearing and maybe some swirling around and stuff in there. So I kind of see what kind of funky stuff we can get. Or the cat hair, dog hair, cat hair, whatever it is. Um, so I'm using house paint for my base. Violet, Soho's Magenta, have Arteza's Pearl Lilac, Lilac, um, um, Artist Loft's Light Violet, Artist Loft's Violet, and Arteza's Pearl Hot Pink. And then I'm going to use a little bit of Deco Arts Metallic 24 karat gold in there. And that hot pink, it isn't that hot pink. It's not really that pink. Like the magenta, this is the Arteza's pearl hot pink. Not so, not so hot. <laughs> the magenta, that's more of a hot pink. <laughs> but that's okay. All right, so... I kind of want to have some negative space still, but I just want to do some really fun swirly, swirly swirls here.
Just here I gotta fix that there's some parts here that don't have any paint on them just wanna I'm trying to look through the camera <laughs> and do it and I'm literally missing the whole canvas <laughs> but so you want to go back through and just check all this because you don't want to have any bare canvas because that will look terrible And then I let it just kind of do, do its thing for a few minutes so it all can flow down and be even. And then I go through with something and then get all the drips off. I usually get the drips off a couple times. I do it twice for sure. Sometimes, even a third time, it just really depends on how much paint you have on and what's coming off. You want, that's one reason why you want to make sure that your canvas is level so that way it doesn't keep running off to a certain side and then then it's going to look terrible in the end but I think I want one right here Let's see if I can do it holding the camera 
perfect. But yeah, look at those sails. Ooh. Look at them. Look, they're so pretty with that dioxazine purple wrapped around it. I almost wasn't going to use the dioxazine, dioxazine violet, but um, when I was mixing all the paints up, and then I thought to myself, like, like, I just feel like it's missing something. So I decided to add in that. And I'm so happy that I did. Look at those funky cells. This one almost looks like a heart. Um, where's my finger? Right there. Gosh. <laughs> oh, it's just so pretty. Look at it. Ah, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I'm so excited. You have to tell me what you guys think. Leave comments, suggestions. Maybe you want to see me do it in some different colors. These are like my two go-to colors. These colors and blues, like I feel like I need to kind of start getting out of the box. <laughs> well, I guess I do do other ones. I have a lot of <clears throat> over on my table like over there are like paints that I have leftover paints so there's quite a different colors over there so yeah but I feel like I go to these colors quite often <laughs> but I thank everybody for watching I do hope you enjoyed my video and you will like and subscribe and share all that fun jazz I appreciate every one of you. Your comments mean so much to me. They're, they just make me so, they make me smile, make me happy. Looks like another heart. Oh, look at that. Two hearts in one painting and I didn't even meet and do do it. <laughs> but thanks again, everybody. I hope everybody is being healthy and safe from COVID and just healthy in general. And yeah, keep being creative, everybody. Have a good day. Have a good evening. Bye.